So Kurt, 2018, the January transfer window, that's that's when you came to Wickham Wanderers. Four years, it doesn't seem that long, does it? No, it's flew by. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gone very quick. Um, enjoyed every minute of it. Um, still enjoying every minute of it. And who knows, hopefully another four years to go. Well, a lot's happened in that in that short period of time. You, you came Wickham in, in League Two. Did you ever think the journey that you've been on would have happened? Um, I'd like to have thought that we would have progressed and done well as a club because of the way it was when I first came. Like everybody was professional. You know, um, I think it was top top four, fourth in the league when I came. So yeah, promotion was definitely a big target. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, been, it's been really good. And you've played your way into the fans' hearts with your defensive midfield displays, but this season the goals are coming as well. Uh, explain how that progression has come about. So um, this season I've definitely been working on my shooting. Um, I, I had just a slight operation, just nothing major, just a little bit of bone shaving and crease um, at the end of the season, last season. So that helped a lot. I used to get a bit of um, impingement when I was struck the ball, so that's gone now. So yeah, like there's nothing holding me back from striking now. So yeah, that and a bit of practice has definitely helped me out. And the goal against Oxford, you, you celebrated in front of the press box, which is, we never get to see these things, but I'm guessing you had family nearby. Yeah, yeah my family don't come too often. So um, I see my boy before the game and he said, make sure you score that. So uh, no problem, so I you know, just went and celebrated with him. But no, nah, yeah, it was good. Um, Good to be in front of the press box or something different. He talked about the practice and technique. The the goal against Oxford uh, was a textbook one, not for you, just for your son, but for all young footballers looking at that. That was uh, some superb technique. Was it in the moment it left your foot? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. But um, I watched it go all the way and then I thought um, Brandon was going to touch it. I was thinking, nah, don't, don't you dare. But yeah, he left it and it went straight in. So yeah, delighted. And the other high-profile goal, goal this year came against Morecambe. They're the next opponents. That was a hugely vital goal for Wickham Wanderers and, and a great one for momentum as well for the whole club. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's huge. Last five minutes in Adams Park, as everybody knows. So I'm delighted to, this, to score my first one for the season and to secure the three points against them. They're a good side and we had to work really hard to get them three points. But yeah, glad to have taken part in that. That was a real roller coaster that game at Adams Park against Morecambe. Now we're going up there. It's a long away day. Uh, what would he take into that game from from, the, from what he learned against Morecambe earlier in the season? Um, know that they're they're a very physical team. They will try and be in our faces. Obviously, that they're at home, so they'll back themselves 100. percent I definitely back us 100 percent too. And the momentum from the last game will take that into to Morecambe, and yeah, we'll just give the best account of, of ourselves. Fun. And the last trip to the northwest coast was uh, was Fleetwood. The, the, the weather was crazy that day, and it had its impact on the game. Are you guys checking the weather forecast out as well? <laughs> um, it's always a bit more windier up north and a bit more rainy like back home in Nottingham. But yeah, now we'll definitely just display to the conditions as we do all the time, and we'll just give our best. And going top against uh, with the winning against Oxford on Saturday, what's what's the the reaction been amongst the boys in the dressing room to going first in the table? Um, I wouldn't say it's really changed to be honest. Um, the boys are confident. We've been confident even when we've dropped to fourth and fifth. We know that we just got to focus on the next game and the points will come because we've got all the ability in the in the squad and everybody's going to be needed so everybody's ready the boys that are playing they're pushing the boys that are playing and yeah it's just it's just level headed i'd say all all season so and tuesday night wigan were playing morecambe and wigan have got a lot of games in hand are the boys are you messaging messaging each other on whatsapp when these games are taking place checking when the goals are going in um, not so much, no. I, we do know that they got a um, thick month, I think it's next month. Games are coming thick and fast for them, it's about them getting through it. But I think the main focus is just on ourselves really and just knowing that every game we have to just go into. And like I say, just believe that we can take the three points and come the end of the season, I think everything will take care of itself.